Hello guys, welcome back to another beginner banjo series video. This will be lesson number two. We're going to learn how to read tablature today. But before we get into it, I just want to let you know that tablature is not the end all be all of learning to play the banjo. It's a good tool to use to learn to convey information between you and other uh, artists or other artists and you. Don't get caught up in tablature. Use it to learn, especially as a beginner because it helps out tremendously but also in the back of your mind, know that you are you are always wanting to wean yourself somewhat away from tablature. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, when you first start looking at tab, the first thing you're going to notice is these two numbers over here. It's usually a four over a four or a two over a four. All that means is there's four beats in the measure and each beat is a quarter note. The top one tells you how many beats are in a measure. Uh, the bottom one tells you what each beat represents. So, like this is 4-4 four, four timing. A measure on tablature is the vertical lines. So, this vertical line over here, and I'm going to try to move my mouse slow. And I apologize for my screen. Some of the lines being faded and the other ones don't. I don't know why these aren't showing up as well. But these represent uh, the strings. So, this one up here being string 1, string 2 string three, string four, and string five. And then this line represents a measure. And all it is is telling you how many beats is in that measure right there, the four, four timing. So like in this measure right here, there's four beats. So it'd be one and two and three and four and, but you count beats as one, two, three, four. And that's a quarter, quarter note, right? Well, when you go to eighth notes, which is one and two and three and four and, those are, the ands are eighth notes. Measure right here can be broke down into one, two, three, four, or it can be broken down into one and two and three and four. It sounds a lot more complicated than what it actually is, but just understand that, that there's four beats in between each one of these measures in a 4-4 four, four timing. And you can have eighth notes, which is ands in there. So one and two and three and four and. Something else here too, guys, that you want to pay attention to. At the end of a, at the end of uh, the first, we'll say the first verse of a song or <clears throat> what have you. You'll get down here to the bottom down here and you'll see these lines here. A one bracketed on the last measure and then a two bracketed on the following measure. This symbol right here in between those two is a repeat symbol. So you play through this one time, boom, and it says one right here. Well, all that means is you repeat that same thing through again. So you say, uh, play this through to here. When you get to these repeat symbol, this repeat symbol goes right back up to here and then you start this again and play it through a second time. Now, when you play it through the second time and you get to right here before the first bracket, that's where you stop at and you continue on with section two. So you'll see that a lot in tablature and it's just you play the first, the first verse through, we'll say twice, and then you'll go on into like say up the neck or some different things. Now right here, I've put a, a, an example of some things you'll see in notation. Uh, and right here, I just numbered the strings is all I've done. So you'll, you'll see that that's one, the first string, second string, third string, fourth string, fifth string. This is a slide right here, a slide from two to three. And if you'll notice in between right here, and let's see if I can get it up a little clearer for you. Where you can see that, yeah. If you'll see between the two and the three, there's a slash mark that runs kind of down diagonally right there and it runs from left to right okay and it slashes down and more or less that means that you're going to slide from the second fret to the third fret on the second string in this other example you'll see you'll slide from the fifth fret back to the second fret on the second string and you'll see that too if you'll notice if you're sliding from the drum of your banjo say towards the peg head that slash will run the opposite way it'll run up on the other side it runs down if you notice that 
So if you see that in tablature, you'll know that this is sliding from five back up to two uh, on that, you know, whatever string they have it on. And this is just a pull off. So you'll be fretting, say, the second fret on the second string, and you're going to do a pull off, which we will get into later on in this series. But just so you'll know what the terminology is, you'll pull off to an open string. So more or less, you're just pulling off. You'll hit it and pull off on uh, the second string from the second fret. Same thing here, an H is hammer on. So you'll be fretting um, on the second fret on the second string and you'll hammer your other finger on to the third fret and that's a hammer on. Notation that you may see is this little symbol here, the 10, and then it's got a quarter, like a kind of curve up line right here. That just means you're choking it. So you're, you're fretting that string and then you're kind of pushing it and bending the string is what you're doing there. Some people notate it with like uh, a CH as in choke or uh, some different ways. But if you see that curve line up and, you know, usually it's a quarter, a half, uh, a full choke, whatever right here. Uh, and in the, um, in the um, Earl Scruggs book, he, he uses this a lot. So just so you'll know what that is. Now, uh, so just know that uh, H hammer on, P pull off. SL slide, whichever way it may be, and then your numbers on the strings, one, two, three, four, five. All right, guys, so I'm going to go right here right quick just to kind of give you an idea. So if you see a zero on a line right here, all that means is you pluck that string. This is the fifth string. You pluck it open. It isn't fretted. If you got a one on there, that just means that's the first fret. That's where you fret that string at you fret it at the first fret you fret this one at the second fret and you pluck that string uh, so just know that when you see a zero that just means the string is open you don't fret it anywhere you just hit that string if you see a number on it the number's telling you what fret to fret that string at um, and then of course we've went over hammer-ons and slides and all that good stuff one last thing guys before we get out of here I want to sh talk to you about right quick uh, you got four four timing which is four beats a measure and you got quarter notes in the measure. Now, sometimes you'll see a two four timing, which is a two over a four here, and all, they call that cut timing or half timing. Uh, all that means is there's two beats per measure instead of four, but it's also cut timing. And so instead of the four meaning quarter notes, the four will mean eighth notes. And so instead of having eighth, instead of having quarter notes here of one, two, three, four, you'll, those will be eighth notes, right? So eighth, 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 eighth. Um, and then your half notes, so it'll be an eighth, sixteenth, eighth, sixteenth, eighth, sixteenth. Instead of a quarter, eighth, quarter, eighth, quarter, eighth. Um, it, really, it, it really works out in the wash, and I don't want to really get into it right now because it'll do more confusing than it will anything, but just understand uh, that the 2-4 timing just means it's cut timing, that there's two beats per measure, and then a 4-4 timing means there's four beats per measure. All right, guys, I hope I haven't confused you enough on that. That's all we're going to go through on this. Later on down the road, we will probably go through more uh, on the tablature the more we get into it, but I just want to give you a basic understanding of what way tablature works, so that way when we're working through this, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, well, I hope that has helped you all out. Thank you so much for pushing that play button. If you've enjoyed the content, please consider uh, smashing that like button, guys, because it helps out tremendously. With that being said, we are going to go on to the next video. Thanks for watching.